Sweetheart is a 2019 American survival horror film directed by J. D. Dillard, written by Dillard, Alex Tyre, and Alex Heiner, and starring Kiersey Clemens, Emery Cohen, Hannah Mangan Lawrence, and after their boat sinks during a storm, Jennifer Reming washes ashore a small, tropical island and then finds her friend Brad, who dies from his wounds shortly after. While exploring the island, Jen discovers the belongings and graves of a family that once lived there. She later buries Brad's corpse in the sand, but discovers the grave uncovered and a trail of blood leading to the ocean the following morning. Day, while retrieving her newly surfaced luggage, Jen finds an ominous hole in the ocean's floor. That night, Jen fails to flag down an airplane using a flare gun and encounters a giant, humanoid sea monster. For the next four nights, Jen manages to hide from the monster. As Jen prepares for the fourth night, the corpse of another mutual friend, Zack, washes ashore mutilated. When the monster notices the hammock he starts to touch it and it slowly drops. Jen stabs the creature with a sharpened stick and narrowly escapes. The next day, Jen is reunited with her boyfriend Lucas Griffin and friend Mia Reed after the two wash ashore in a life raft. Jen warns Lucas and Mia about the creature, but they dismiss her claims. Jen later discovers Lucas' pocketknife bloodied. Jen tries to convince them to get in the lifeboat and escape before dark, but Lucas snaps at her and refuses to go. Jen makes a desperate attempt to flee without the two, but they chase her and throw her out of the life raft. During the escape attempt, Mia knocks Jen out with a boat paddle after Jen kicks her in the head. Later, Jen regains consciousness to find herself tied up. Mia reveals Jen's past of fabricated lies while Jen tries to convince her of the danger. Lucas returns and refuses to release Jen, and after Mia leaves he hints that he participated in Zack's demise. Before Jen can ask what happened to their friend, Mia is attacked by the monster. Lucas leaves Jen tied up to fight it himself, but fails to save Mia, who is dragged into the water. Jen breaks free of her bindings and rescues Lucas. The next morning, Lucas and Jen attempt to escape in the life raft. Jen discovers the inside is covered in blood, presumably belonging to Zack. As the two begin to head west, the sea monster attacks the raft, eventually ripping through the base and grabs Jen. As Jen is being dragged down to the black hole, she remembers Lucas' penknife and stabs the monster. It releases her, and drags Lucas to his death instead after he dives in to save her. Now alone, Jen decides to confront the monster. Before setting up a trap for the monster, she chronicles her experiences with the monster in her journal in hopes of aiding any castaways who might wash up on the island, after her if she fails. That night she lures the monster into a circle of wood and grass which she sets fire to. She battles the monster with a series of sharpened branches and bones from the graves of a family the monster killed. Both severely injured, the monster chases Jen to the shoreline, but collapses from its wounds. Jen decapitates the corpse and limps away to the raft, carrying the severed head as proof of what happened on the island. Now I am explaining critical response. It had its world premiere at the Sundance Film Festival on January 28, 2019. 
It was released on October 22, 2019 via On Demand and Digital by Universal Pictures. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 95% based on 39 reviews, with an average rating of July 2, 10. The site's critics' consensus reads, carried by Kiersey Clemens' performance, Sweetheart balances smart subtext and social commentary against effective genre thrills. Todd Gilchrist of The Rap wrote, director and co-writer J.D. Diller delivers a smart, streamlined thriller that skillfully integrates a careful whisper of social commentary into a story that also unfolds masterfully as a straightforward genre workout. David Ehrlich of IndieWire gave it a B and wrote, What this potent microdose of a movie lacks in showmanship, it makes up for in purity and resourcefulness and a rugged performance from Kiersey Clemens. John DeFore of The Hollywood Reporter called it, A cracking little one-hander, mostly. That rations glimpses of its well-designed beastie expertly. The picture will please genre fans who don't mind long stretches with no dialogue. Refinery29 singled out the lead's mostly single-handed role, with almost no dialogue. Clemens delivers a startling, charismatic performance. Jen has very little backstory, but we get a real sense of her personality just from watching her walk around this idyllic setting, or run from the nightmare it turns into. In a negative review, Dennis Harvey of Variety called it, not quite original or stylish enough to be memorable. The movie was shot in less than one month in Fiji. Director and co-writer Dillard said, We lived on the main island and commuted half an hour every day to a much smaller island called Bounty Island. Basically, we just rented the entire island and the bungalows, served as Thai trailers and production offices. Also called Kadavulelai, Bounty Island is a small, private island within the Mamanuka Islands of Fiji in the South Pacific. The creature, whom the crew nicknamed Charlie, was played by Andrew Crawford, an Australian ballet dancer who had also worn the xenomorph suit for Alien, Covenant. Dillard wanted a new creature performer, someone whose movement vocabulary wasn't, I've played 1,000 creatures. Director and co-writer Dillard said the idea for the movie came to him while he was in Virginia Beach, Virginia, just standing and looking out at the water with some friends, trying to think of the scariest possible thing that could happen. And, I decided, that would be if a creature were to stand up and look at me. The idea came from that shot, basically. We kind of went backward from there. Also, a lot of Sweetheart came from my own frustration about how much backstory there is in a lot of genre stories. Almost as an exercise, I wanted to see what it would be like to take all of that away and revert back to let the camera, and our sound design and our actors do all the work.
Clemens said the story was a political allegory with a racial empowerment there. At the time, we were really reacting to the 2016 election and the fear of this monster, Trump, being in office. We wanted it to be this big white translucent figure, because normally scary things are dark. We wanted to do the complete opposite of that. There's a lot of low-key political themes in it. She said Dillard, who is African-American, wrote it visually imagining one of his sisters. This was inspired by them, and for them. He wouldn't have made it without a black woman being the lead role. It also plays into those themes of black female hysteria and people not believing black women or people of color, when we say that we're in danger, or that something is violent to us.